coming so I don't end up stranded in the middle of the night. Like around 5.30. I'm gonna put this stick down. I'm mostly good, but I'll get a little bit of water and food before we head out. So yeah, the circle's not moving. Oh, there it is. Now I'm gaining, I'm benefiting from drinking this water because I was a little thirsty. Once the green circle flashes, or I guess if it just stops, I'm good to go. Um, sometimes it will flash the green circle if it ends right as you were taking it. Have a little bit of food. It's mostly good on that too. So now I'm gonna grab my chopper, put it in my offhand, grab my pointy stick, and what was my objective? Intimidate an animal. Okay. If we can find a warthog or a snake, this should be pretty easy. And I have to let you know that there's generally a green mamba not far from the settlement. So if you go out the front, I'll go out the side door, basically, over there. Head to the edge of this little cliff. Because, um, again, starting location is like, you have to scale cliffs to get here. So pretty much, I say pretty much, I've never seen anything attack. Okay, so down underneath, there's like that little arch thing right there. I think it's the, uh, the part of the sister arches landmark we discovered. Black Mamba lives down there. Not Black Mamba, Green Mamba. So, switch the senses. Er, that's intelligence. I don't see anything yet, but if I change to smelling, sometimes I'll smell it from a distance. There it is. Memorize. Now, all we gotta do, look at our buddies. Sweet. So yeah, you're more intimidating when you have friends. That and when they're not skilled, they'll intimidate. They'll copy my intimidation technique. So they'll yell at me. They're wrong, definitely not. All right, when you're the snake, press and hold circle. Intimidated. It. Okay, establish a new settlement. That's fun. All right. I mentioned earlier. Um, you can... Anywhere there's a landmark, you can make a new settlement. So technically, you can make a settlement, like, right there. I don't want to, because I don't like that place. Over there, I actually went... There's a landmark... I guess, let's see, yeah, that's how Big small. Okay, okay, that's the general direction that I actually like. So it's probably this one. That I'm a fan. Of. Cliff Cascade is not a bad place for a settlement. Um, but if we are going to make a new settlement, then we need to take all our people with us. I want to leave them by out, as in, you know, one, it's just rude. Two, strengthen numbers. The more to go with you, the more likely you are to live. Not you specifically, but you know, the more likely somebody in your clan is going to live. Wait for my energy to refill. Cool. Keep climbing. Yeah, so. There we go. Um, so you can, when you get back into the settlement, you could go up to each individual hominid and press circle to say, hey, follow me. Um, oh, I also said earlier, I show how to lift a rock once I had a stick. And that little ding! Again, audio cues are super important in this game. That's when you know to let go. Uh, oh, I thought this was a new mushroom. Nope, I don't get to learn. Okay, I don't want to eat it, because I don't want to be sick. Is that snake follow me? I'm gonna... Roll over there. Nice arm, I'm gonna Cool. Okay. So you could uh, go up to each one and press circle to say follow me, but that takes forever. So another thing you can do is just try to get kind of centered on some of them. Press and hold the circle. And now all of them in earshot would be following you. So there's two that aren't, so they're probably over here somewhere. Yeah, they're there. But you can just do it again. Now they're following you. Alright, let's go establish a new settlement. 
so it's still showing me that snake because I memorized the location. Um, once I get far enough away, it'll say, like, a memorized item has been forgotten. Oh. I'm going to venture out into the world and nary return. So like I said, there are different locations, um, like, any landmark could be a settlement, but some of them, like, you could make a, a big swamp into a settlement. That's a terrible plan. It's full of crocodiles. Uh, the African rock python lives, like, right next to it. Um, there are at least two giant warthogs that live right there. It, it's, it's just that, and it's straight up on the ground, no protection whatsoever. So, again, first location, yeah, it's pretty much yeah. ideal. Did I just hear a snake? Switch over to here. Okay. It's just my peeps. Alright. Uh, yeah, but starting location is pretty much perfect. But you're not going to want to venture out at some point, otherwise it'll just be super boring. So yeah, the Cliff Cascades, another good spot. Depending on how many times we get attacked on the way, and the general health of our people, we might end up settling there. But I would like to go past it. Uh, part of this whole thing is just discover every landmark you can. I've on my other games, I've actually just basically made that the goal. Um, go through and just find landmarks. I've sent, gone out on expeditions where uh, when I want to just discover landmarks, I take everybody with me because I don't want to have to turn back around and go back to my settlement. So if you bring everybody, when you discover a new landmark, make a sleep spot, and bam, you can turn it into your new settlement. Hey, I finally forgot where that snake was. Alright, so that is not actually the one I was thinking of making a settlement, but that's okay. I'm still gonna go discover it. I totally thought that was a snake and it's just a bush. Ooh, crocodile. That would make this the little swamp. So, ah, you know what? For funs and giggles, let me see if I can kill that crocodile after I discover the swamp. So far, um, crocodiles are probably the meanest creature I've found. They're hard to kill. Um, you have to stab them a lot. You know what? I got the whole plan with me. We'll try it out. Ooh, also, the little swamp has a <laughs> crocodile nest. It takes it. Okay, there you are. Oh, you're next to a bunch of my homies. Now don't eat my homies. I gotta go stab you in the face. And audio cue, super important. Oh, did I just kill it on my first try? Hell yeah! Stab it right in the eye. So, I was just saying how hard they are to kill. Um, apparently, unless you're a total badass like me, uh, I don't know where to go with that. Uh, yeah, usually it does, it takes. I end up stabbing them four or five times before they're dead. Since it was my first one, maybe the game's just going easy on me. <laughs> okay, so inspecting it. I'm gonna butcher it so we can all dine on some delicious alligator meat. Get upset stomachs. Okay, so once you start eating something that there's more than one of, your a bunch of other hominids are gonna copy. So I'm gonna eat this. Crocodile meat. And after a couple bites, some others should run up and grab some crocodile meat. And all of us will be sick to our stomach because we don't know how to metabolize meat yet. Oh shit. Never mind. Instead, I'm gonna freak out for a second. And then hit the saber tooth tiger in the face with a rock. Run now, bitch, run away. 
Yeah. Turn. Okay, yeah, see they're all eating crocodile meat now. Sweet. I win. Um Yeah, there's that. Like I said, I do not want to make this my new settlement. This is dangerous as hell. But there's one near the little swamp that I'm a big fan of. So it's weird because I actually just discovered the little swamp on the game that I've been playing forever because I went the other direction. Uh, and then ended up circling back to the little swamp. It was the it was objective I had to circle back to. So like I said, here is there's a crocodile nest over here. You can check out some eggs. You can inspect everything you possibly can in this game. That's how your hominids learn new stuff. So you can eat them raw, which will give you an upset stomach. But hey, we're learning. And then option two. Hit one with a rock. Hey, I lost my rock. Damn. That sucks. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna take a pointy stick from this person in case I get attacked again. So where is the next landmark? Because there should be okay. So there should be one pretty close to this. See, when they're hungry, I can't tell or I guess maybe when their stomach's upset. I often confuse my clan members growling stomach for a predator. Don't stab them in the stomach. That would not be useful. Um, yeah, so we want to head over here. We've got everybody with us. We're going to try to make a new settlement. Probably run into some folks on... Ooh, okay, again. Yeah. Once you get too far away from home, you just get scared. You don't know where you're at. How you fix it is step one, just identify things. Identify as much as you can. It increases your dopamine level so you don't freak out. And it's going to allow you to rationalize your fears. Rationalizing your fears lets you expand your territory by conquering said fear. So as the little white circle down there is filling up, I'm also increasing dopamine. I don't know what that is. We won't have to check that out in a minute. I'm close to this one. What is it? Move. Oh, uh, okay. Do that again. Because I really should avoid hysteria. Alright, back to looking into some stuff. Once you identify enough items... My circle is almost full. I think one more should do it. Boom. Surroundings rationalized. So in order to conquer fear... Head to the white glowing circle. Oh, it kind of sucks if you get attacked when you're doing this because you regularly hear, just based on your fear, you keep hearing what sounds like predators. And then eventually you realize, oh shit, that really was a predator. Alright, conquer your fear. And bam. Extended our home range. So we can also go ahead and identify this beautiful landmark. Discover. Two Rivers Junction. I think it's funny because, I mean, I guess they're hominids that can't think of more interesting names, but uh, you have one called Two Rivers Junction, and then there's another one called Where the Rivers Meet. Like, kind of sounds like the exact same thing. Okay, it is starting to get late. I do want to go inspect that, but that, that is the location that I'm trying to get to so we can make a new site. It's a very good landmark. This one's cool, but low to the ground, easily attackable. And this one is more elevated. Probably shouldn't get there. So this is a thing that I have found. If you're out and about, you'll get cold just before the rain starts. I can feel it in my bones, apparently. And then, of course, if you get under cover, it should warm you up. You don't die. Okay, good. I don't think I can make that jump. Oh, cover shouldn't have broke. I don't think I can make it up that. Nope, nope, not really. 
Alright, I'm gonna rest for a moment. Pull my energy field back up. So with water that's moving fast like that, you will get swept down here. So I try to avoid it. Climb right up here. And head to our new place. Oh man. I'm getting really tired really fast. Probably need to eat and get some water. But both of those things are right up here. This is the place. I love this place. Discover. So yeah, this is one of my favorite spots to settle. Um, it obviously, it, like I said, the, the starting spot is the best. I mean, you're set up with so many resources. This one isn't quite as good as far as the number of resources right there, um, but it does have a lot of benefits. Um, you have a ton of overhanging space, so like right now, where all my hominids are cold, we can go right over here and not be so cold anymore. Super tired, apparently. So there's. Let's grab. Let's make a bed. Um, so now that I unlock that construction perk, it should only take three pieces of grass to make a bed. Boom. Start construction. Tap X a few times. And I made a bed. So now, before I lie down, I chose a new option that says Settle. So I'm going to press and hold Circle and tell my entire clan, this is where we live now. All, however many of us there are, get to share this one bed. Okay, not really. I'm totally going to make another one. Ooh, identify the jungle's father tree. That's a really cool landmark, just so you know. Okay, we don't have anything to evolve at the moment. Let's go ahead and sleep. Oh, <laughs> that's a settlement for definitely not very many clan members. Oops. Is that it? Oh, that better hurt better. Either way, my person's not tired. Alright, let's get some water. I feel like I should not have been able to unlock all of those. But whatever, I'll take it. So this definitely says between, not up to. Okay, not first anymore. There's a berry bush around here somewhere. There we go. Um, just so you know, the berries aren't always good. So, uh, you know, the summer, like, kind of a brighter, more vibrant red, and then some of them not so much. Uh, they're like yellower. Those berries aren't ripe, so you'll still get the benefit of eating food if you eat them, but you're also going to sick to your stomach. However, when you're at home, it's not that big of a deal, because uh, if you're sick to your stomach, you can just drink a bunch of water, and it'll help you out. There's more food. So yeah, I was using, again, uh, smell is the easiest way to identify new food. In fact, there are some... Uh, there's a lot of foods that you can't identify. How, how am I trying to put this? When it's a new food that you've never seen before. If you press triangle and just focus in on it, I mean, it won't even be an option to focus on the new food. Until you have identified it by grabbing it. So if you smell... You can smell the food from a distance. Oh, I could grab that bone like a boss. Yeah, you can smell the food from a distance, then you can go up and grab it. Alright, um, we've got some communication stuff. Let's... What I'm going to do real quick is make a couple more beds. So that, you know, we don't all have to share just the one. Uh, plus, having all these different beds and whatnot, and it's going to, as we make them, we're, we're learning. So, 
it's gonna activate more neurons. It's how you get um, higher level settlement learning. So, yeah, that's very important. Ooh, is that a yummy snail? That is a yummy snail. So I haven't seen these yet. We'll inspect them. That's cool, because once I, since there's several around, uh, once I eat it, my homies are going to be like, Oh, that's food! They're going to run over and eat some too. Yeah, bro, get you one. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay, back to making beds. We got two beds right now. Oops, I thought that was enough. So he's probably good for right this instant, mostly because watching me make beds is boring. Alright, we unlocked two new things. Let's see what they are. It's connected to the PS. Yes! Okay, so we can get them to mimic grabbing an item and eating food. Uh, soon, we should be able to get them to grab an item and then alter it, which makes it far easier. I said I like to have, uh... Oh, yeah, uh, cool, I can smell stuff. Um... I like to have everybody equipped with a sharp stick when we leave the settlement. Um, you can actually have them all go pick up a stick. Pick one up and they'll copy you. Um, so they'll all go pick one up. And then you can have them all pick up a rock. And then you can have them all sharpen a stick. And then you don't have to make all the sticks for them. Okay, the sun's almost up. Looks like I'm good to go on pretty much everything here. Ah, uh, somebody had to sleep on the ground. Yeah, that's my bad. I'll make more beds later. Um, okay. Let's identify what we have around us. Yeah. Alright, sounds like somebody's freaking out. Okay, what is this? Grab that. I must have totally missed this. I never saved, because I have never seen this thing before. Trapped insect. Ooh, we like insects. Sweet. Man, that, this site is getting better and better. Okay, what else we got? Yes. Should be some mushrooms in there. Oh, there's mushrooms right here. Um, so I did... These, these ones? I'm just a little confused on Um, so you can't eat them, they're gonna make you sick, sick to your stomach. No, I But, I mean, I'll probably do that. So, yeah, he, like, pulled it away from his face. That was his way of saying, this is not a good source of food. So, look, I got, I'm sick to my stomach, and... I don't 100% know the name of that icon, I just call it the Bubble Guts, because that's what it looks like to me. And then, of course, those dumbass monkeys went and ate the same thing, even though it just made me sick. That's right. Drink a bunch of water. Look here. One of these really quickly, and the other one... Eventually. Okay, honestly, it doesn't affect me that much. I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I tried with these mushrooms. Um, I tried altering them barehanded, I tried altering them with a grindstone, with a rock. I could not for the life of me figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with them. Now, in this cave, am I mixing this up with another cave? I am. So there's this one really long cave that has, like, a bunch of scorpions and, uh, the tarantulas in it. Totally thought I'd say. It's not. Like, that thing's like close, right? Yeah, I think I thought that was close enough. Alright. What else we got? Um... Granite. I wanna see there's basalt around here somewhere. Whatever. We ran into a rock. It worked. So we find better ones. Let's go ahead and grab one in each hand. Come back over here. 
get out of the cold. A little better. Uh, oh yeah, so granite. Um, if you alter granite, I can't remember if I said this earlier or not. You can use any rock to alter it. In this case, I'll just use granite. You will eventually create a grind spell. So there's a couple reasons grind stones are awesome. Okay, I didn't show it because I haven't done it before. Um, they get, I mentioned some of the foods give you buffs. Grindstones give you some of the max buffs. Um, so, like we had these red leaves over here. Look at that. Um, well, I'll explain it as I look at them. Those red leaves that give you, like, uh, protection from cold, you can actually grind them into the paste, and then apply the paste, and instead of, like, a tiny bit of protection, it gives you max protection, so it's like a couple of hours in game time. Um, I say a couple, I think it's, I don't know, I don't know the exact amount of time, but it's a, it's a while compared to all the other stuff. Let's go see what that stuff is. Um, horsetail leaves, so a horsetail, you can grind that into the paste, and it gives you, you can't break bones or get poisoned, I think, for like quite some time, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, 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 go back, it's like that. Uh, yeah. The grindstone is pretty sweet. Ooh, hold poke. <laughs> This is pretty sweet. Uh, let me grab a stick. Stick, 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 stick. What if I don't see a stick? Stick. Oh. Strip the little branches off. Just kidding. Go. Gotta wait for that audio cue. Is that granite? Yeah, granite. Alright, granite takes forever, but whatever. Let's sharpen the stick. Better than nothing. And you can stab the stick into the hole and find food. Um, so I have found snails that way, uh, scorpions, which will make you sick and eat them, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a free random source of food. Which I suppose all the sources of food are free, but still. They let me discover scorpions far earlier than I would have on my other game. Alright, now it's got your stick sharp again. Let me just see how there it is. I'm gonna go poke this hole. Where'd the hole go? Alright, being, being sick is altering my vision. There we go. Wait for the audio cue. And look, I got a snail. So you can alter, and basically you take it in your hand. I don't think I'm terribly hungry right now, but whatever, we'll eat this now real quick. There we go. A little bit of protection from being poisoned. I have not tried rubbing a snail on a grindstone yet, actually fun. Okay, but like I said, I want to find either those red leaves, or... Some horsetail. The horsetail grows next to rivers. There's a river right over here. So I'll grab that and show you. Horsetail. Probably should have just brought the grindstone with me, but you know, what else? We'll oh, go back in here. Yeah, these max buffs are pretty amazing. Um, the, when I went out hunting a crocodile the last time on my other save, I did uh, the red leaves. What else did I do? Horsetail, 
and honey, and all together that gave me like protection from nearly everything. The question is, what the hell did I do with that grindstone? There's this granite rock, let's make a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna put the horse tail down for a second. I'm not gonna lose it. Better leaving it right next to me. Make a quick grindstone. Sweet. Put that down. I'm actually gonna put them both down because I wanted to show. Oops. You can do the horse tail in its normal state. You could grind it. It's actually faster if you alter it. By switching hands. And now I have horse tail leaves. So go ahead and inspect those real quick. Hands, pick my grindstone back up. Now when I grind these, I have now discovered what looks like a giant burger. Or still face. So when you apply it, it's a natural medicine. That prevents you from bleeding. Uh, and like I said earlier, bleeding, I mean, if you break a bone, that sucks, it's gonna heal. If you get poisoned, um, it can go away, it goes away eventually. If you don't stop bleeding, it's not gonna go away, you're gonna die. And... It looks like we're just past two hours, uh, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, have fun playing Ancestors.